Hey everybody, Brick and Brood here and just hanging out at the house right now. It's a rainy day. We got a lot of Lego building going on right now and Dex just finished his build. So I'm bringing something up for him to build. He's gonna be super excited about it. He's never seen this set before. So uh, let's go get his reaction. All right, Dex, I got your next build here. Check it out. <laughs> What do you think? Is that gonna be a good one? We're about to finish off Simba. Ari's working on Venom. You're working on the pork, bro. Yes! First coming to you. Hi. Flunk. And somehow I just uh, did that. All right, so Dex and I were just complaining about all the Technic parts that we have in our bags right now. Like, look at all this. Yeah. Look at all that. And then Ari comes over here and says, hold my chocolate milk, take a look at this. That's a lot of Technic parts, eh? What's your favorite thing about that plane? Uh, landing gear. Ooh, the landing gear. That's one cool thing about the Technic uh, builds is that they have a lot of really cool uh, features in them. Would you call it epic? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Check out the propellers. Dex is finishing off this porg right now, and I'm about to go grab our Prime Day package that already arrived, even though it's already day two of Prime Day. You ready for this, dude? Ready for more Lego? Yeah! All right, let's do it. All right, so our Prime Day box is here. Got our brick separator. Go to town here and let's see what we got. So the first box arrived today. There should be another one, I believe tomorrow. Finish off. But check this out, dude. It's called the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. So uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see what else we got here, dude. We got another one of the uh, battle packs here. We got X-Men. Uh, ship right here, so a couple cool X-Men minifigures, and another battle pack here of troopers, and here we go, another R2-D2, so Dang. I keep saying another, this one is the first time we've had this version of it, but uh, we have like, I don't another know, like version. six versions of uh, R2-D2 to add to the collection here. So I guess we'll have to get this one built and have them all put beside each other and uh, check out our entire R2-D2 collection. But, uh, so I think this is what I want to start working on first, R2-D2. Dex is finishing off the Porg. And then, uh, what do you think, Dex? I think you want to get into this, uh, here, uh, temple of Jiu-Jitsu, or... Yeah. You know what, man? You know what we really need to do? We need to actually start working on our mock, though, man. We, uh, it's fun building the, uh, sets. And uh, I'm planning on integrating all the sets as they are, somehow, into the, uh, build. But, uh... You know, I, it has to be done, I guess. So, I mean, if you want to work on that, you can. But I, at some point, we're going to have to start working on that uh, Ninjago build. That spaceship? Whose spaceship? Oh, uh, from Galaxy's Edge, yeah. Yeah. The, the one that had, like, a lot of uh, technic pieces. They have a lot of technic pieces, right? And, and if you think that had a lot of technic pieces, this might look very easy and all. But right inside here, <laughs> the first bag took me forever to finish. It was a lot. I'm not, I'm not a Technic guy. No, I'm not a Technic guy either, but it, the one thing that's benefited Technic is you're able to make really cool creations and they're really strong yeah. structurally. Earlier when we were doing our big building binge, I finished up making the Star Wars Transporter, the one from Galaxy's Edge, which is uh, pretty cool. I've been waiting to do that one for a while because actually now I've been there two times officially. I've been on the ride, I think, four three or four times now so uh that's pretty exciting i'm pretty glad to finally build that because you actually get to go on the ship in the galaxy's edge and it's kind of unique to that because it's not in any of the movies so on the very bottom of the box is a really cool galaxy's edge emblem we finished building simba maddox technically built nine bags and or more, or more probably more. probably more and ari finished finally finished the venom helmet or the venom head 
so he, we can add that one to the collection too now. And Dex is gonna be finish up the board real soon. I'm either gonna be working on R2D2 here, or I'm gonna be working on maybe the Ninjago area. Or you know what? Maybe cleaning up some of the uh, sets behind me there. We have a bunch of sets that I wanna get rid of so we can add more sets to the collection because I still have Baradur just sitting on my desk, which is cool. It's a really cool thing to have sitting on the desk, but it's, we need more space if we're gonna be working on um, things like the Ninjago build because it's pretty big. It's on 248 base plates that are tied together. So uh, the more space I have for parts down and stuff is probably best. So that's, so that's gonna be it for now. A lot of building going on, so that's definitely a success. We hit 1,000 subs a few, I go, ah, and I'm kind of riding on that a little bit more now. It's probably a week ago now, technically, but before I announced it, it was yesterday. And a uh, bunch of, mini, bunch of uh, sets inside here to build. So we're gonna have a pretty nice little summer here. What yeah. do you think, bud? It's going pretty good, pretty, sw pretty yeah, right. smooth so far. <laughs> Great, oh, excellent, bro. Uh, so remember to make time for yourselves, your family, and your Lego. Take care. And if you've been glad I had a lot of technical pieces, this might look very easy and all, but right inside here, <laughs> the first bag took me forever to finish. It was a lot. I'm not, I'm not a Technic guy. No, I'm not a Technic guy either, but 